Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on subtracting linear expressions. Our objective is to subtract linear expressions and solve real-world problems by subtracting linear expressions. In our first example, we have 4x plus 5 minus 2x plus 3, and we can subtract these using models if needed. And let's use the models in this first example, because sometimes the visual can really help We have 1x, 2x, 3x, and 4x for the 4x. And then for our plus 5, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That picture represents the 4x plus 5. Now, to subtract out a positive 2x, all we need to do is say, well, here's 2 of the x. I'm just going to get rid of that, I'm going to subtract it away, as well as three of the positives. Just going to go, wee, that goes away. So what am I left with? Well, two x's and a positive two. So two x plus two. And that's one way of getting this answer. Well, what's another? Well, we can line these up in columns. We could write 4x plus 5 and then subtract 2x plus 3. Now even on some of these quote easier ones, I would take a look at this subtraction here and change that into addition. And how we're going to do that, we'll keep the 4x plus 5. And just like with integers where we can keep change opposite, we can do the same thing here. In order to change this from subtraction to addition, we need to take the opposite of the 2x and the opposite of a positive 3. So that would change into a negative 2x and a minus 3. And here's the advantage to this. Now we can look and go, all right, 5 plus a negative 3. Well, 5 plus a negative 3 is 2, and it's a positive. And then 4x plus a negative 2x is just 2x. So 2x plus 2. And I know on this one you can go, well, I just know that 5 minus 3 is 2, and I know that 4x minus 2x is 2x, and that's great. But remember on these, sometimes this will be a 5 minus negative 3, or negative 4x minus 2x. It'll be very useful for you if you can get in the habit of changing the subtraction into addition and taking the opposite of these terms so that you can go, all right, 5 plus negative 3 and 4x plus negative 2x. Now, I know some of us may prefer our horizontal way, not our column way, and I'll show you how that can be done. We have 4x plus 5 minus 2x plus 3. Well, we're going to keep the 4x plus 5. And what happens here with this negative, we have to apply this negative to the 2x and to the positive 3. So we could write this plus negative 2x and then plus negative 3. Or Another way of writing that would have been 4x plus 5 minus 2x minus 3. So when you go to group your like terms, your 4x and your negative 2x, that would be 4x minus 2x. And then you would also group your plus 5 and your minus 3. So that would be plus 5 minus 3. For one last time on this problem, 4x minus 2x is 2x, 5 minus 3 is positive 2. So three different ways, one with models, one lining up with columns, and one solving horizontally and grouping like terms to get an answer of 2x plus 2. And now we get into a slightly more difficult example, negative 3x minus 5 minus negative x minus 1. 
And let's line this up using our columns. So we'll write first our negative 3x minus 5 minus a negative x minus 1. Let's go ahead and change the subtraction into addition. So we'll keep the negative 3x minus 5. And then our negative x, the opposite of a negative x is a positive x, so just x. And then the opposite of this minus 1 becomes plus 1. Now, we can take negative 5 plus a positive 1, and that is a negative 4 or minus 4. And then negative 3x plus 1x is negative 2x. So our answer here is negative 2x minus 4. For those of us who prefer the horizontal way of writing this, negative 3x minus 5 minus negative x minus 1. Now here, we'll keep the negative 3x minus 5. But in a way, we're going to distribute the subtraction onto the negative x minus 1. So this would become plus a positive x plus 1. So when I go to regroup my like terms, I would have negative 3x plus x. And if you want to write that as a 1x, you can if that helps you see it and make sure you add or subtract the correct thing. And then we would have a negative 5 plus 1. Well, this simplifies into negative 2x minus 4 again. So, again, either way you would like to try this, maybe try both as you solve these. Again, the more tools you have, oftentimes the better. Now we have negative 2x minus 3 minus a negative 4x plus 2. Well, let's set this up in our columns again. I think our columns might be the easier way of seeing a lot of these when we have all these subtractions and all these negatives. Now, let's go ahead and once again change the subtraction into addition. So we'll have negative 2x minus 3. And now, since I took the opposite of subtraction as addition, the opposite of negative 4x is a positive 4x, so just 4x. And the opposite of a plus 2 is a minus 2. So now, I have a negative 3 plus negative 2, and that is a negative 5. And I have a negative 2x plus a positive 4x, and that is a positive 2x. So my final answer here is 2x minus 5. Now lastly, we have solving problems by subtracting linear expressions. Remember, one of our objectives was to solve real-world problems. The expression 9x plus 27 represents the total amount of money a band earned from selling x CDs. If the band has to pay 3x plus $12 in expenses, what is an expression that represents their profit? Well, this would be their 9x plus 27. You have to subtract out your expenses of 3x plus 12. Now, let's go ahead and solve that, or at least simplify it. 9x plus 27 minus 3x plus 12. And it's just a good habit to change the subtraction into addition. So we will rewrite our 9x plus 27. The opposite of 3x is negative 3x, and the opposite of a positive 12 is a negative 12. And 27 plus negative 12 is a positive 15. 
and 9x plus a negative 3x is 6x. So 6x plus 15. And again, on these where everything is positive, meaning your coefficients are positives and you're having a bunch of additions, if you wanted to, this would be one of those special case exception type deals where you would just do 27 minus 12 and 9x minus 3x to get the 6x plus 15. That's fine as long as you can separate that um, without having to change it to addition from the other ones we've been doing like negative 2x minus 3 minus negative 4x plus 2. Now, that previous example is very helpful uh, to change your subtraction into addition and do the opposite thing. Here, maybe not as much, but you can still solve it that way if you wanted to solve it the same way every time. So we have our simplified expression of 6x plus 15 that represents the profit. Now, if the band sold 125 CDs, what was their profit? Let's take the expression 6x plus 15. Remember, x represented the number of CDs, and we're going to have 125 CDs. So if we put in 125, 4x, we would have 6 times, or multiplied by, 125 plus 15, and 6 times 125 is 750. Don't forget to add the 15 at the end, and you get a profit of $765. That's it for this lesson. Good luck.